give me a break, Beagle. You're pouting, and I took you on a two hour long adventure this morning. Walking, pooping, exploring, sniffing. You're never happy. What am I gonna do with you? Go ahead, have a treat. Look, these are good treats. What's the problem? What's wrong with these treats? What about one of these? Oh, you're just turning your nose up at the treats, huh? What's the problem? What's wrong with these treats right here? Help me! Help me! coming out on the deck here every hour or so and just taking some footage like this for you guys just so you know that this is going to be what it's like doing the slog up the Ohio to Paducah if you are going down the Kentucky Lakes which I imagine you probably will um, ooh, we got an eagle flying right in front of us there awesome I love eagles so yeah it's uh if you can find places to put in and get more out of this than just slowly going to Paducah upstream, you know, make some videos, please. But this is pretty much what we're doing. We'll be, hopefully we'll be there before dark. I think we will, so. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back in. To my viewers that are really good at research and looking things up, what do you think this is? It's on the... Illinois side of the Ohio, I would say about 20 miles south or, you know, towards the mouth of the Ohio from Paducah, maybe 25 miles, 20, 25 miles. I will give you the coordinates here. I'll take a picture of my chart plotter. But this is a, this is weird. It's, it was like a, I mean, it looks like a floating, was it a floating casino or, because I think I'm seeing two, like, pontoons underneath it. Um... And of course, I don't think it could get on the water unless it was, you know, if it was a building to slide down the hill or something. Very strange. It looks like it has a sign maybe on the back side there. Ooh, my guess was a floating casino because it, it seems to be the part of the world where they do stuff like that. But it's obviously seen better days. Getting our first glimpse of Interstate 24 right there, which means we're getting pretty close. Just a few more miles past that is Duca. Okay guys, the city dock in Paducah is in sight. I'm laying my eyes on it right now. I'm going to turn the phone around in just a second to show you. But I want to just drive this home. This has been such a long haul. I don't remember it quite being this difficult and arduous five years ago. I think maybe some of that is because it was the first time I've ever been on any sort of boating trip, long, long range boating trip. And so it was like everything was just so new. And ever since Alton, basically, I have been retracing steps. And, uh, but that's okay. But, you know, we just saw Massey Creek where we ducked in and, but yeah, fighting the current up to Homestead, Lock and Dam was challenging, um, all day today. We left at 6.30 this morning. Here it is. It's going to be dark in about an hour, but we're making it. We, we, we're, I see it. Let me turn the phone around. We're almost here. It's so exciting. <laughs> 
<laughs> three day slog. Three or four days from Hoppies. So excited. So we're gonna go for a walk and you're gonna love it. Are you ready for a nice long walk? Are you ready for a nice long walk? Tilt that head. What? You ready for a nice long walk? <coughs> you know what I'm saying. <coughs> Well, give me a few minutes to get there. Ah! Yeah. You want to go for a walk? Ah! Oh, yeah. Ah! The other folks that were parked right here are leaving, which means we're the only ones here in Paducah at the moment. Howdy guys and gals. We are in Paducah, Kentucky. And this is one of those spots you're probably gonna go through if you're doing the loop. And it's a great spot. It's You're gonna be really glad to see it after doing the run down from St. Louis and Hoppies to here. It's a long haul. And they have a great city dock that's, as far as I can tell, free. And uh, all sorts of stuff in walking distance. There's a downtown that's historic and beautiful and there's museums there's murals there's old buildings there's gas if you want to walk uh, a couple mile round trip uh, you probably if you come here late in the season you won't really be able to get it at the dock but that's okay there's a health food store like a mile away there's a grocery store about I want to say three miles away so you know plan accordingly but yeah almost everything you're gonna need will be here within walking distance definitely bicycle distance if you got a scooter then piece of cake so okay guys why don't we just uh, turn the phone around and I'll show you guys the beagle walking tour of Paducah Kentucky stay tuned You know, as we walk around this area where the murals are on the flood walls, it, they are impressive. They are definitely worth seeing. It's not just some, you know, touristy type of, you know, attraction that's feels kind of contrived, you know. It, they, they, those are real works of art. And there's a lot of realism to them, you know. They're just really kind of folky and you know, real, like depicting uh, what I would say is art for like common folks and, and real people that want to know about the history of the area. 
Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to go back later this evening and probably take a, a long, slow look at them just on my own, not filming, try to take them in. It's something that that could easily take a you know a whole day to just slowly take in each one, read the the bronze caption on the bottom. Every mural kind of has a little story to it also. So, yeah. Paducah is a place you don't want to hurry away from if you can help it. Okay guys, I'm going to show you this real quick. This is the entrance to, there's two ways to get into Kentucky Lakes. There's the first one here that goes into Kentucky Lake. That's the most straightforward one. That's the one that, it's probably windy out here. That's the one that the barges uh, go through mostly. And then if you go 10 miles further up the Ohio here, against the Ohio, you can go into the Cumberland entrance, which is kind of more winding and a longer route, but a lot less used and we'll be able to get, we'll probably pop into, uh, we'll get through the lock and dam a lot quicker is from what I understand. That's how it was five years ago. And I've only heard that it's even more so now. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm just gonna take a minute and show you this. So we are coming into the entrance of the canal, I call it, in, of the Cumberland. And then we'll be going towards the Barkley lock and dam. And I pulled out my Navionics on my, my tablet here to kind of show you we're going behind this island here into the canal. My transducer has stopped working for the moment. You can see I have no idea what the depth is, which is kind of making things a little bit stressful, but I've got, you know, I'm just taking it, uh, being really careful and watching for cans. So. Hopefully I can get that fixed. Maybe there's something hanging off of it on the back. We'll have to stop tonight and take a look. So, stay tuned. Well, I'm not sure what to make of this. I'm hoping there's a way through. Looks like the bridge fell down. The old bridge. Maybe there's a way right through there. There's a boat over here with a blinking light. I think they're coming over to me, maybe to tell me what's going on. So I'll report back when I figure it out, guys. All right, guys. Well, I didn't want to film it when we were talking, but I can't. We can't get through here for like a day or two because this must have just fallen down, and they're just cleaning it up. So I really wish I would have known this, and I would have went through the Kentucky Lock and Dam or tried. So that's a real bummer. I would have stayed in Paducah. How stupid is this? All right, guys and gals. So we have a. A surprise <laughs> here right over there is the entrance to the Clum uh, Cumberland River it winds around and eventually goes to the Barkley Dam and enters the Cumberland no I'm sorry Lake Barkley there's a lot of names to remember well there's a bridge an old bridge they just dropped this morning of course I had no idea and he can't get through reportedly until tomorrow night is when they're gonna have it cleared but I don't travel after dark so it looks like I'm stuck on this sand bar beach I guess you could call it a beach it's an island it's called a Colum uh, Cumberland Island uh, rest of the day today all day tomorrow 
There is a little town called Smithland just right over there. And we're gonna take the dinghy and go check it out. So they, I'm just I'm just trying to roll with it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Stay tuned. Up, up. Go, come on. Up up. Up up. Go. Good girl. Good girl. We're just trying to get a view of the bridge that they dropped yesterday. Uh, I think we can walk down here. I think this is where it crossed right here. You might be able to see some of the wreckage and the cranes. So. guys it's like noon and there's still that much of the bridge down in the water and that much of the entrance of the Cumberland there blocked by that bridge I have a feeling like like we might be here longer than than they're thinking I mean it, we'll come back you know around dark and take a look but uh, I don't know we should have stayed in Paducah there's a whole lot more to see it's only like 12 miles away Maybe we'll turn around and go back if it's not cleared by the morning. Well, good morning, guys and gals. We are on our beach here, our marooned beach. I will take a minute here and show you. We are uh, across from, you wanna come outside? Come on outside. Let's stay on the boat, please, for a minute. <clears throat> nope, but, but. all right, Eagle's not listening. You stay close and do not rub into that catfish carcass. They're all over the place on this beach. Anyways, guys, here's the entrance to the, the Cumberland. You will see the, uh, the the crane there, which I've been watching for a while, and it has not been going this morning. <laughs> I did that They got to move that bridge so we can get through. We got places to go and people to see. Come on. <sighs> uh, today, we will go across. That's Smithland right there. There's a little more of the town inland there. That White House is this massive estate. We actually walked around it last night, and uh, it kind of looks like it's in disrepair. I'll try to get you a little footage of that. Wavy, you stay on the beach. And it did storm last night. It rained, but we were fine. This, uh, the way I had the, the anchors was great. No problem at all, so... No real complaints. I got no reason to complain, but sometimes I still do. Life's been good to me so far. Alrighty guys, let me show you this. So I went and looked 
at my transducer, waited out in the water and took my bath at the same time and discovered that the cable broke right at the sender. And there's no fix in that because there's no, there's no wires on the sender side to splice together with the line. So I just ordered a new one off of Amazon, about 83 bucks, coming to Green Turtle, Green Turtle Marina next Thursday. So, so yep, no, uh, no way to know what the depth is until, until then. So I'm gonna here. I'll turn the phone around, but I think it'll be okay because once we get through the, the Cumberland Channel here, we'll just stay within the cans and and uh, just play it safe. No getting off the channel or you know close to shore unless we're going really slow and it looks. I've gotten pretty good. I mean, you get pretty good at kind of reading what's going on, but without a depth sounder, it's very challenging. So, so but yeah, we were going to Green Turtle Marine anyway, so it's no harm done. Okay, the nice ladies in the historical building there told me there's an old cemetery on top of the hill with really old stones and a great view of the river. So that's just right up our alley, guys. Let's go check it out. I'll try to tell you guys this while it's fresh in my mind. So. I was talking to this nice lady that has an antique shop here in town. Her name is Rocky. And she kind of grew up in Kentucky here and a couple other places. And she was a real bohemian soul. Hitchhiked across country when she was a teenager and, you know, followed the Grateful Dead and stuff like that. And she was a really neat lady. And she said this town was once, uh, you know, really booming and a fun place to be. There was like 15 taverns and, you know kind of a rough and tumble river town and it's only I don't know she said 15 minute drive from Paducah so it's you know not that far and because all these rivers come together right in this area you know it's strategically located in a way you know so there's a reason for it to be here I guess they had a lot of money here once and they, she said that the uh, the white estate you can see from the water and from where we're parked on the island that used to be a he a guy owned a barge line and she wasn't sure if he died or moved away or something but now someone lives there supposedly but no one knows exactly who <laughs> this is an absolutely gorgeous cemetery up on a hill <clears throat> And they said there was some nice views. You can barely see one of the locks out there. That would be the second one up from Olmstead Dam, I believe. We can kind of see it from where we're parked on Cumberland Island. Yeah, it's a nice day to walk around here too. Nice and cool, a little breezy. Maybe 50 degrees. You always got to get a weather report from me, guys.
Ah!